So, the battery bank are pretty soon filled up to 100% or not really 100% but 100% for me and that's the same as 4.15 volts per cell. And uh, well, we have 36 cells inside of this bank now. So it will hold around a little more than 30 kilowatt hours. And I have tested the car nearby here and uh, it takes around 1.5 kilowatt hour per 10 kilometers. So it's, uh, I don't know, it's pretty good for this type of uh, motor and speed controller. It is a brushed motor in this one and uh, some Chinese speed controller. That's also why I am doing these changes to this car because it's not original and I have looked for the original power unit but I cannot find it anyway. So in the future I will change both the speed controller and the motor but for now I am just going to be satisfied with a new battery bank instead of those lead acid batteries. And the voltage of this battery pack when it's fully charged is around 48 volts. So I think I am close to it. Well, I'm up to 14, 149 volts at the moment, so it will soon turn off and uh, we will start our trip and hopefully I will get home again. Well, enough talking. <laughs> I will start to go here. So this trip is around 150 kilometers and I think that it is pretty much that far that this car with this battery bank will go at the moment. So. Here we go guys, let's start this up <laughs> and as always very welcome. So let's reset this meter and it's very temporary, I know, but it works. So we have the watts, volts and the amps and the watt hours. So I am closing into the first 10 kilometers here. There we have it, 10 kilometers and 1.42 kilowatt hours has left my battery. So now I am close to home again, that's a safe feeling, but I uh, will just go and get my genset and uh, then we are going out for our last trip 
and see how far we actually can come with this battery bank. Home sweet home. So uh, 127 volts and 21 kilowatt hours and we have traveled 15.2 Swedish miles or 152, almost 153 kilometers. So let's do a calculation here. 21 kilowatt hours will be shared to 153 kilometers times 10 and you will have the numbers in Swedish miles there. So 10 kilometers will be 1.37 kilowatt hours. And that is a really good number. I actually had uh, thought that it was up to 100 uh, or 1.5 kilowatt hour per, per uh, 10 kilometers there, but it was much lower actually. And I don't even have any regen on this uh, car. So what I mean then is that uh, when I brake, I just brake. I don't put any power back into the battery again. So, well, good number. I will just get the gen set and then we are going out and drain the last of this battery out and see how far we can come. All right, let's take a look at the cell voltages before we go away here, because I don't have any cutoff to this car. It will simply just drain the battery and destroy them. So I only have a safety protection there when I am charging the, the modules. I mean, th there will not be any danger to discharge them too much, but after that I cannot charge them again. So they are destroyed if I drain them too low there. But now let's take a look at the cell voltages. So first we have the rear pack. And what can the delta be? It's only 11 millivolt. And uh, yeah, we are down to 3.55-ish voltage. So uh, it looks pretty good. And now we just have to take a look at the front battery pack. And we have around the same voltage there and a delta at uh, 20 millivolts, so that's just great. And the temperature of the module is 22 Celsius. So, really nice. So we are ready to go and I don't want to go lower than 3.3 uh, volts per cell here. Two hundred kilometers. The battery is completely depleted, and now I only have a few hundred meters to my home. And we have a pack voltage at one hundred twenty volts, and I have two hundred kilometers plus on my odometer. So there we have it, 200 kilometers and a little over 27 kilowatt hours. And I did not even have to use my genset there. So I am really happy about that. And uh, well, 
I mean, those battery modules, they are, were not new from the beginning, so I am probably miss around 2 kilowatt hours there due to degradation. And then I did not charge the battery bank all the way up. I stopped there at 4.15 volts and uh, I think that uh, I probably miss around 2 kilowatt hours uh, there too. And uh, then I probably am missing 1 kilowatt hours in the lower bottom here. So the battery is not completely drained, but almost. And let's take a look at the cell voltage here, by the way. So you can see that we are now down to a little over 3.3 volts here. So it's really low, but still on the safe side. Now I will just start up my other project, and that is the motor and the new battery bank to this car. And uh, I have decided to go with a Nissan Leaf motor, and then I will also use eight Volkswagen ID3 battery modules. So uh, that will be interesting. Make sure that you don't miss that. If you would like to see more of that, uh, you know what to do. So uh, yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this one. And I really hope that I see you next time. Take care and goodbye.